His Highness the Emir Sheikh Subah Al Ahmed Al Jaber Subah received at Bayan Palace today the Minister of Justice and Minister of Awqaf and Islamic Affairs Sharid Abdullah Al Mashirji, who presented to His Highness Chairman of the Public Authority for Combating Corruption, Councillor Abdul Rahman Saleh Al Namish, his Deputy Council Riyad Ahmed Al Hajri, and the committee members Imshari Saad Al Mkhairi, Dawood Abdullah Al Jarrah, Ahmed Sultan Al Sbai, Abdul Wahab Saleh Al Mizani, and Luay Ahmed Al Saleh. They took the legal oath before. For His Highness the Emir upon assuming their new posts. The swearing in ceremony was attended by the advisor at the Emiri Diwan, Muhammad Tefalla Sharar. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أقسم الله العظيم أن أكون مخلصا للوطن والأمير ونحترم الدستور وقوانين الدولة وأدي أعمالي بالأمان والصدق أقسم بالله العظيم أن أكون مخلصا للوطن والأمير ونحترم الدستور وقوانين الدولة ونؤدي أعمالي بالأمانة والصدق بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أقسم بالله العظيم أن أكون مخلصا للوطن والأمير وأن أحترم الدستور وقوانين الدولة وأؤدي أعمالي بالأمانة والصدق بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أقسم بالله العظيم أن أكون مخلصا للوطن والأمير وأن أحترم الدستور وقوانين الدولة وأؤدي أعمالي بالأمانة والصدق His Highness the Crown Prince Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jaber Al Subah received at Bayan Palace today His Excellency the Minister of Justice and Minister of Awqaf and Islamic Affairs Sharid Abdullah Al Mashirji, who presented to His Highness the Chairman and members of the Public Authority for combating corruption on the occasion of assuming their new posts. His Highness congratulated them on the formation of the Council of Trustees of the Authority, which comprises a number of the best people in Kuwait in different fields, and highly evaluated the role assigned to the authority. His Highness also pointed out to the huge responsibility they have to shoulder in order to consolidate the principle of transparency and combating a craft, adding that all necessary measures have to be taken to facilitate the authority work and remove any possible obstacle that may hinder the implementation of its mandate so as to fulfill its message by laying down a strategy and mechanism for combating corruption. His Highness described the formation of the authority as one of the important steps for reform to which we will aspire. All, all aspire. His Highness also emphasized the importance of being very firm in the implementation of the law without leniency or favoritism to anybody or to any ministry or establishment. Finally, His Highness the Crown Prince wished them all the best of success in achieving their mission in the service of their country. The meeting was attended by the Under Secretary of His Highness the Crown Prince for Media Affairs, Sheikh Mbarak Lahmoud Al Salman Al Subah, and the Under Secretary for Protocols and Ceremonies, Sheikh Mbarak Subah Al Salam Lahmoud Al Subah. 
His Highness Sheikh Jabal Mubarak Al Hamad Al Subah, the Prime Minister, received the Chief Palace today. His Excellency, the Minister of Justice and Minister of Aqaf and Islamic Affairs, Sharid Abdullah Lamar Shirji, who was accompanied by Chairman and members of the Board of Trustees of the Public Authority for Combating Corruption and the Provisions for Uncovering Financial Credits. His Highness the Prime Minister congratulated them for their selection and for accepting to bear this huge responsibility. He pledged the government determination to continue implementation of all legal and administrative measures intended to combat corruption and to consolidate the principle of transparency in all ministries and departments. His Highness asked the board members to follow up the proper mechanism and meticulous and fair methodology in the process of supervision and follow-up so as to correct the path of the various establishments in their performance.